Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So we are at 23rd day of May Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is find the shortest super string. The input given here is a string array which consists of uh, strings and we have to return the minimum or the smallest string that contains each string in words as a substring. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given example and we have to return a string which consists of all the strings included given in the words. So if you see CATG, it will be here CATG and every string will be constructed inside this particular string and which should be the smallest possible out of all the possible solutions. So how are we going to approach this problem? So the overall logic of this solution is going to be we are going to take one string and compare it with every other string in the given input array and find or merge this string with the other string. Same way we are going to take the second string and do the same operation again with all other rest of the strings given in the same array again to the third string till we permute all the strings with every other string and merge them. So once we merge all these values once we are going to continue merging those merged values and finally arrive at our result. So how are we going to perform the merge operation? So first let us take the first string. We are going to compare it with the rest of the strings given in the array. So we are going to find the suffixes and merge first. That is for example if you consider this string CATG if you see GCTA you can merge them by one character that is G and G are common here. So in that case, you can put only one G and ignore other G so that this is going to become CATG CTA so that you can cover both the strings in one particular string. So here we are going to perform only the suffixes which is nothing but the front part of the word we are being comparing and the back part of the word we are sending. So by doing that, we are going to perform this operation for all other words other than the same word. So let's start with the first word and other words. Here if you see the suffix doesn't match between the word CATG and CTAAGT. So in that case, the whole word is has to be present in the combined word, which is nothing but CATG plus CTAAGT. Coming to this word, we have already covered this. It is having the common suffix G. So ignoring one G, we are going to add CTA with this particular string. So coming to the third word, if you observe the common pattern or the common sequence between CATG and TTCA, CA and CA are matching. But here we are not going to consider the prefixes. We are going to consider only the suffixes from the compared word. So here it ends with G and it doesn't have any character in the front. So we are not going to split this or something. We are simply going to have this complete string added with cat G. So it is going to have cat G T T C A. So you can ask me a question when this C A and C A will be compared and added a new string. So that will come when we take the fourth word here and have all other words here. So in that case our cat G will be compared. Then in that case we will consider the uh, suffixes and we will make this string to T T T G. So anyway, these suffixes and prefixes are going to be covered when the words are shuffled and checked. So finally, going to our last word, which is A T G C A T C. So in this case, A T G and A T G are matching. So we are going to ignore one A T G and have a string C A T G plus C A T C from the second word. So that is what is here. So now we are done comparing our first word with every other word in the word list. Once that is done, we are going to take our second word here and compare it with the rest of the words in the string. Same way we are going to shuffle each word and compare it with every other word in the given input array. So how are we going to implement this in code? We are going to get the help of a method get suffixes. So get suffixes is going to have two strings as its parameters where the string one is the constant string we are comparing and the string two is the rest of the strings in the 
word list. So consider the same example that is the, with the first string and with rest of the string. Our get suffixes, first time it is going to send this as the string 1 and this as the string 2. So here in this case, they doesn't have any common suffixes. So it is going to return the complete word C T A A G T. And what it does is it will add S1 plus what it is returned from get suffixes as one combined or merged string. So consider this example, we will have G and G in common. So our get suffixes will return only CTA as the output of get suffixes. So CTA is nothing but after removing the common suffix, what is the rest of the string in string S2. So in our main method, it is going to add S1 plus what returned from the get suffixes. So this string is going to become CATG plus CTA. So this is after merging these two strings. Same way it is going to do for the rest of the strings. Again, same way by comparing every string with every other string, our get suffixes is going to do this merge operation. So to help us do this, we are going to have a two-dimensional array memoization. So this memoization is nothing but representing the first S1 and S2. So what is the string returned from get suffixes after removing the common prefixes? So this is going to have C, T, A for this particular combination. And we will combine S1 plus this C, T, A to have our merged string. So this is the first step in our problem. So once we find all the combinations, we need a data structure to store them. So we are going to get the help of hash map where we are going to save the key value pair. Here the values are nothing but the merged strings we found. So here in this example, consider this particular combination where we compared string 1 with 2, 3, 4 and 5th string in the given word list. So consider the combination 1 and 3. So here g is the common suffix. We are going to consider only one g. So the merged string of this category is going to be c a t g c t a. So we know the value is going to be this. So how do we put the key here? That is we combined word 1 and word 3 or we combined word 1 and word 5. To do that, we are going to get the help of bitwise. So for example, here are, there are 5 words 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we consider word 1 and word 2, then we are going to represent it in the binary form of 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is nothing but these three strings are not considered. Wherever there is a 1, those strings are considered. Again, if suppose we are considering the string 1 and string 5, then we are going to have 1 at the first place and 1 at the fifth place, which is nothing but we are considering the string 1 and string 5. So how do we instruct our code to form that binary number? We are going to get the help of this formula where we do a left shift by J and K. J and K is nothing but the second string and third string or whatever the number of the string we are performing. So once we do a left shift to one and an OR operation, we are going to get a binary number and then we are going to convert that to an integer and store that here as our key. For example, if we are going to perform this operation for the strings 1 and 3, so this is the merge string we get. So that is going to be our value and the J and K are 1 and 3 respectively. So we are going to do a 1 shift to 1. So in that case, the binary number is going to look like 0, 0, 1, 0 after 1 shift of 1. And same way, we are going to do 3 times shift to 1. So if we do a three times shift, the number is going to become 1000. So we are going to perform an OR operation. If we perform OR operation, wherever there is a 1, the answer is going to have 1. So this number is going to become 0101. So if you convert this to an integer, it is going to become 10. So that is going to be our key. So here 10 is nothing but if we represent 10 in the form of binary, the first string and the third string we combined and merged to get this answer. So yes, hope you're understanding this part. So now you're understanding how we are storing the value. But here, the value is not going to be one string. Instead, it is going to be an array of strings. Why? Because we are comparing this string CATG and TTCA to get TTCATG. If suppose TTCA is going to come and compare it with CATG and this forms one merged string 
let us not consider that what is going to happen to that but if you again take the same numbers that is the string 3 and string 1 it is going to give us 10 again either you do it string 1 and 3 or you do it string 3 and 1 so in that case for string 1 alone you will be getting two merged strings so if we store only one string as a value it will override so in order to overcome that we are going to store our values as array of string so yes after performing few calculations and putting the keys and values to the hash map our hash map is going to look like this with random keys and the values so each key is going to hold two combinations or two merged strings under it so this is like a base for a solution once this is ready we are going to do the same operations with the merged strings so instead of the number of strings we are going to get the key and do the same operation again and again using the key and the strings with these merged strings we are going to further merge it with the rest of the strings which is not included in this key so after performing still more value is going to be added to this hash map until we merge all the strings given in the input so once we merge all the strings i said if you consider one and two words for merging then it is going to represent as one one zero 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 if we merge all the strings then that is going to represent it as one 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 all ones because we have considered all the strings. our hash map is actually going to ho have more values here i'm giving only few values for understanding this solution so here is 31 so 31 is nothing but all ones that is at all five places so that is the key that says these are the merged strings of all the combinations or all the given words so this is one of the strings in this list is going to be our output so we have asked to return the smallest of all possible solutions so we are going to iterate this particular list and whichever is the shortest string we are going to return that so if you see the last string g c t a starts with g c t a is going to be our output and we are going to return that so how do we find we have our output at this number so which is nothing but if we have the length of the given words i a which is 5 so we are going to perform a one shift 5 5 is nothing but length of the given word list so if we perform 5 shift then the number is going to become 1 0 0 0 0 yes 0 so if you subtract 1 from this number then this number is going to become 1 1 1 1 1 it is going to have one more zero yes so finally by performing one shift length of the given words minus one we are going to get this number the integer value of this number is actually going to hold our output i really enjoyed doing this video hope you enjoyed and understood the solution as well so this is going to work in big o of n square 2n plus w time complexity where n is the number of words given and w is the length of each word so let's go to code now so let us first check the base condition if there is only one word in the list then return the word itself as an output so let us declare basic data structures that is our memoization 2d array and hash map and i'm gonna iterate my strings that is each and other combination and gonna call my get suffixes method So let us write our get suffixes method first. This will actually return the string 2 after removing the common sequence from the string 1 and string 2. And that will be stored in our memoization 2D array. So it compares any of the substring in the second half of the string 1 matches the first half of the string 2. If that matches, then we return that substring. The substring of after matching. If not, return the whole string itself. So once we called our suffixes method, we are going to add our merged strings with its key to our hash map. So we are performing the shift operations. And if that is not present already, then we are going to create a new array. And in our map, with that key, we are going to add the word string one plus what is there in the memoization table so that will construct our complete hash map so once our hash map is 
completed. So now our hash map is going to have the keys and the strings which are merged. Now it's time to merge those merged strings. So we are going to iterate the keys in our hash map and take the value string and we are going to compare it with the rest of the strings which is not considered for that particular merge. And further we are going to compute the keys for the new merged strings and store them back to our temporary hash map name. So every time we compare the newly merged string with the other strings and compute the new merged string. So once we compute all the merged strings, we are going to save the temporary hash map to our actual hash map. So it's time for our result. We are going to iterate and find the all ones integer number from the hash map, which is going to have list of results. From that, we are going to take the shortest string. So here we are iterating to check if there is a shortest string in the list, then we are assigning that to a result and return it. So let's run and try. So yes, let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted. Hope you enjoyed this video. Our algorithm runs in 116 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.